So now we are doing the open box of the stereo to be installed, and I'm very excited. But this is an open box of an open box because I had to open the box. So this is the outside of the box. It's very plain, there's really nothing on it. Yeah, it's pretty plain. So let's open it up, even though it's already been open. So here we have a, a bezel, go on the front. We may or may not need that, some instructions. We may or not need those. I'm sure these are some tools going on for what is needed. So we'll throw those up front too. In the box, you get this massive wiring harness for your audio left and right and uh, video. And uh, it's got the antennas right here, as you can see. And it's got the, the USB ports right there. So this is a pretty intense little package. Put that on the dash. Next up, we have the wiring harness, which is exactly what I was looking for. Lots of wires. Lots and lots of wires. We won't be soldering this installation. It'll be a totally crimped installation just for expedience to get this thing done tonight. Will I do it in the future? I don't know. But we'll see how this, uh, I've never done a, a crimp install before because I've always frowned upon them for obvious, obvious reasons of vibrations and I'm coming apart. Most awkward unboxing ever. Okay. Get that out of the way, back seat. So it comes with the, uh, the screen, which I will show you momentarily. And that screen looks like this. Ta-da! And we will put that somewhere safe for the moment. The unit, which is the next thing I need, is this. That's what it looks like from the front. There's obviously the screen attaches to it, and this is the back. So this thing is like a basically like a computer built into your stereo. Love it. This one will be fun. Well, that's it for the unboxing video. Very short and sweet and to the point. Let's get the rest of this install underway.